cylinder both cylinders are <coughs> identical a, a string is wrapped in I, I definitely I should take two different strings one string you cannot wrap it huh? if you want to try you take two pins and try to wrap you cannot wrap like this there should be two strings so first what happen I'll take one string here I'll wound like this so, so it, it'll be like this huh? I, I'll Mm -hmm. it will be like this huh? one string I'll, I'll start from here fine then then like this then here it should come from below no so therefore what I do I'll start from here it'll be like this then here I'll put a knot then I'll take another string the another string here so it will be it will be wrapped like this so sorry it'll be wrapped here So, so it 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 be wrapped. The, then I'll pass it. Then I'll I'll put a knot here. So I to I to take two strings. One string not possible to wrap like this. Okay, this about now convert this into plane diagram. So plane diagram how do it look here? The, there's a ceiling. So th th there's a blue color string together I'll show one and uh, there's a first cylinder okay meanwhile try I'll adjust the diagram hmm? A plane diagram will we'll go for plane diagram. It'll be easy for us to learn. So we have first a disk. No. So the first the, the, the string. Then the red color string will be owned like this, so and and, and it will come here. So this is cylinder one, call O one. This is cylinder two, call O two. And the tension the strings, let it be here. T one by two, or say T naught by two. T naught by two, and that will become T naught. The tension the string here let it be t by two, t by two, and let it be t. The resultant is what I'm showing. So what are other things that will act here? The weight mg. So this the point p1, this the point p2. Okay, let's see that what type of motion the cylinder one will describe. About it's a suspended about its center of mass. It is going to describe only angular. Only rotatory motion. What about this? It is going to describe rotatory as well as translatory motion. <coughs> A to I write alpha to that one. So this is what happens. So let's write the all possible equation first. T minus T into R should be equal to I O one alpha one. Now what is I O one? M R square by two alpha one. So what is T is equal to? <coughs> so the tension in the string is equal to M R alpha one by two. Then let's write the equation of motion for this. So T into R should be equal to I O two alpha two. So T into R should be equal to M R square by two alpha two or T is equal to M R alpha by two. But sir, point O is point O is accelerating. Why why you are not taking pseudo force? Go back to the concept I I give. Though center of mass accelerating, can you define torque about it? Yes, 
but sir, uh, why, why you're not taking talk due to pseudo force? You take symmetric points, symmetric elements will be there. The net torque on that will be zero. So what will be the torque set up by the due to pseudo force acting due to acceleration of center of mass? Net torque about O will be zero. Uh, fine. Already I discussed in the concept. Huh? So straight away I'm writing it. But sir, O2 is accelerating. Then why you're not taking pseudo force? So even you take pseudo force, that pseudo force will intersect the axis of rotation. And what about this particular point, sir? Then equivalent opposite torque will come. Like this, symmetric elements torque due to that pseudo force will be equivalent opposite and will cancel out. So therefore, what all the torque is acting only due to tension. And what about mg will intersect axis of rotation O2. It will rotate about this axis, about O2. It will be rotating and moving down. What about this? Only rotation. What about this? Will be rotating and also moving down. Try to look at the laser that it will be rotating and also moving down. But center of mass will just move vertically down. What about points? Points, the, the rigid body will be like this. Huh? Will be rotating. Uh, you, you can see all this. They're not something highly theoretical. You can work out in your own. Uh, now let's write the equation. Sir, uh, sir, if the body is not symmetrical, then can we do it, sir? Even then also. Even then also mg minus t is equal to ma2 this is the one equation i wrote it so how many unknowns are there uh, from equation i think alpha 1 equal to alpha 2 L let me write it here then mg minus t equal to ma2 how many unknowns are there alpha 1 alpha 2 t and a2 i <coughs> i need one more equation Acceleration of point P1 along Y axis should be called acceleration of point P2 along Y axis. Any reason? String is inextensible. String is inextensible. What is acceleration of point P1? Tangential acceleration, R alpha 1. And what is acceleration of point P2? A2 minus R alpha 2. And since alpha 1 equal to alpha 2, let it be equal to alpha. So therefore, this will be R alpha 1 plus alpha 2 is equal to A2. Or I think now we can solve it. No, we can so substitute alpha R alpha as A2. Then T equal to MA2. Solving this, we'll get the Thing there. So whatever the disk again, it will have both translatory as well as rotatory motion. This cylinder to both only rotatory motion. Now again, you can do one thing. So that it will rotate about point P two. The string will become extensible, but the string is inextensible. So I think now the string, what it comes is something very important, no? So who is helping us? Yeah, the string. So this is something very important. So you can't take the string for granted here. So we thought some other concept will help us, but who is helping us to determine about what point the second cylinder will rotate? The string. Get, getting the idea? So a minute observation is very important. Take this one, I'll, I'll, I'll scroll down. We'll, we'll wind up one more problem. So these are like a problems based on constrained equations huh? because the string and pull will come. So you're going to take the constrained equation here. Let's take the next one. Uh, some pulleys one, <coughs> uh, this is called like a differential pulley. Uh, one string, I, I will do one thing, I'll wound on the axle. So th th this is called like a shaft, I I'll, uh, so this axle, I'll wound on the axle and I'll suspend a block M. Then another, another string I'll wound on the shaft. So sir, what is this axle shaft? I think chapati roller. So what we are doing here, I am going to 
you can you can